Good Sunday morning everybody. It's another gorgeous day out. It's not bad for, what is it, 2nd or 3rd of March, I can't remember what date it is. Probably the 3rd of March I think, because it's Sunday. But yeah, we've been really lucky this winter. Very little snow. We've got a storm forecast coming in, but hopefully that'll die out before we go to work tomorrow. Now, we're still recovering in this household. Although I must admit, my foot feels 100% better again. So exponentially better. So I'm hoping I'll actually be able to walk around tomorrow. Which will be good because I've not been able to walk around for a while. Michelle's just decided that we're not doing anything because she needs to rest up and basically gather her energy back for going back to work tomorrow after the flu. Which I don't blame her because it took me a lot of effort to get back after the flu. Uh, even though I went back in on the Monday, by the Friday I was, oh, oh, actually by the Wednesday, I was worn out because it was off on Thursday and I could tell I wasn't 100% but it's just one of them, just won't go away. But anyway, it's Sunday, I've had some coffee, I'm going to do some editing, I'm going to relax. Moving on. Okay guys, so shopping's arrived, as the shopping, as the dot com, so I'm going to put that away and then that's all the chores done for the day, apart from obviously cooking, but well, we've got uh, a bit of leftover pie from yesterday for our lunch and a lasagna for tea, I think Michelle's making lasagna, so, so I better get all the shopping put away, yeah. Okay guys, it's my turn to make lunch, so I've warmed up the pie and some beans, what we had left over from yesterday. That's the pie that we had left over from yesterday, not the beans. The beans was left over from when they were in the cupboard, in a tin. Yeah, you know what I mean. Monday morning everybody, storm frail is uh, affecting us at the moment, it's cold and it's windy and it's wet and it's 3 degrees and it's Monday, I don't know which is worst, I think they're Monday, yeah we're, all, we're both back to work, how are you feeling, feeling better? Much better, yeah, Much better, 100% yeah. but better, yeah I'm, I must admit I'm a week in front of Michelle and I, I kind of I only just feel like I'm coming out of it, just won't go away but anyway we're off to work we're out tonight yes we're actually going to watch in a talk by the historian and presenter TV presenter Dan Snow yes looking forward to that but before we do that we need to get our work done yeah we need to go and pay the bills on we go hi guys that's the working day over with and oh, I'm off out now we actually got home, we've had our tea. What we was going to do is me and Michelle were going to go and watch 
taught by Dan Stowe, Dan, uh, Dan Snow, the historian. But unfortunately, Michelle's not feeling too well. So what I've done is I've rang Gary up, got a substitute, and I've brought Michelle off at home. So I'm off to pick Gary up now and back into town to watch the uh, watch his talk. So looking forward to this because I do like history. I just need to get out of here. And obviously, with all the to and froing, I run a little bit late. So I had better get on. Speak to you shortly. Okay, guys. So here we are. We've made it to the uh, dance show. Dance. Can't say his name. Dance Snow Talk. Me and Gary. Yeah. Gary's back on the vlog. First reserve. I thought actually you weren't first reserve. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle. Michelle rang up for Amy, and she couldn't make because we're already in time. So. But yeah, we're gonna see what's going on. Uh, looking forward to this. Before then, we've got ten, eight minutes before it starts. We're having a cup of coffee because you can't do anything without coffee. Yeah, and yeah. caffeine, I'm not sorry. Yeah. After a long five day at work. Yes. Um, thank you very much for that welcome. Uh, it is a great treat being here tonight uh, in Aberdeen, which is, uh, usually, I have to say, I go to some places around the country and I talk a little bit about local history and, uh, and I, I do get a little bit nervous. Places like Brown, a bit tricky. But obviously Aberdeen, no problem at all. One of the most historic. Although I want to say one of the most historic places has gone, but having just been to Dunfermline, and I was so beaten black and blue by the Dunfermline Local History Society, now nowhere obviously comes close to Dunfermline, so I'm sorry about that. But um, it's, it's lovely to be here, I've spent the day exploring some of your, your wonderful part of the world. Um, I'm just going to ask in the front row, usually a very reluctant husband has been brought here by a history man of life. <laughs> Shane, I know you're a big history fan. So, is that you, so you're looking a bit nervous? Are you a history fan? Okay, oh, not certain though. Are you the history fan? Okay, what's your name? Maxwell. We're going to show Maxwell the my, my history is the best and most important subject you can possibly study. It's what we're all doing here, it's why we are who we are. Okay, guys, you'll have to excuse me, it's like 45 minutes past my bedtime. <laughs> uh, we've been out very late. Well, that was Dan Snow's chat. I got told off for actually filming him, so. There's only a very, very short, short piece. A few seconds. Yeah, a few seconds before I got told off, but yeah, met the guy, going to sign my book for me. Brilliant. What do you think? That was very good. Obviously, he's got a lot to talk about. Uh, a lot of history is uh, collected over the years. Because it's his job. Because it's his job. So, I bet he could have just talked for like hours and hours yeah, and hours and hours. Brought, yeah. It's exactly uh, what you would expect from a, a presenter um, who knows what he's talking about basically. He was chatting and it was intriguing. And he was speaking at such a pace that he, he wasn't trying to stretch out what he had to tell. It was so, yeah. came out so fast because he had a, a lot to tell. <laughs> took a few, ans uh, few questions at the end, well two. Three, I'll yeah, three. I three. Thought, well, three, four, questions. question and answers, yeah. here we go, he took three, <laughs> and then we were on it at a time, they threw him off, and he came to the front side of the met him, brilliant, uh, yeah, he didn't come out with anything I didn't already know, uh, about, so you knew about uh, Crathis Castle just behind the field just behind them. I didn't know about that f that field just behind Crathis Castle, which was the uh, centre of human civilization yes. in the age of the Mesopotamians. You know, that one was new for me. But everybody says ancient Britain, they were just heathen, what, just, not I'm gonna say heathens, that's not the right word. Mm -hmm. Just barbarians and there were no, they had to take all the culture from elsewhere. Elsewhere, but no, no, that's that's a lie. Uh, it was just as, just as, as sophisticated as everybody else. Only, tri only difference is, they didn't write anything down, so we can't, well, damn traffic lights, so we can't, basically we don't know anything about it. Anyway, I'm about to pull onto the main road, so I had better turn this light off and pay attention before the police pull me over. But yeah, overall, 8 of 5, I'd give that ooh, a good solid 3.5 out of 5. Yeah, yeah, do the same. Yeah, not, yeah, enjoyed it. On we go. Mm -hmm. 